Hello, good morning, recovery world. Well, you know, the more I do these uh, video blogs or snippets, the more I realize this is kind of a video diary for myself as well. You know, uh, last night I got a phone call from a bankruptcy attorney that I had been talking to uh, regarding a possible bankruptcy. And, uh, you know, 15 years ago I had been to the emergency room for a medical detoxification from alcohol. You know, I was such a deep and dark alcoholic that I had to be medically uh, detoxed to spare my life. You know, I was pretty bad uh, alcoholically. But anyway, that being said, is that 15 years ago, I received a pretty substantial bill that I didn't pay, and that was handed over to collections, and and then the, the collections uh, filed a civil suit against me, uh, and it was awarded to them in default. So um, in this county that we're in, they have the right to do that, and they did it. And so now there's, over the 15 years, it's almost $80,000. And they I've been running from it uh, every time that they would track me down to garnish my wages. Honestly, I would just run. I would run from uh, the job, whether it was a good job or bad job, and I would run into a bag of new feelings, never thinking that I was ever going to have my life stabilized. And so here I sit today, um, crossing that bridge once again. Uh, this is the longest I've ever been sober since I started using drugs 37 years ago. <clears throat> and um, this is the farthest uh, along financially and vocationally that I've been uh, without reverting back to my old life, which was, you know, drug use and and just kind of coping on, in unhealthy ways. So processing it <clears throat> has been difficult. This is a pretty high hurdle for me because um, normally I just go back to my lifestyle of drug use. And so I'm going to take the $1,400 that's necessary to file this bankruptcy and, um, and go bankrupt. Um, uh, so that's my hurdle today. Uh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to overcome it, and I'm going to move on. This is going to be something that uh, helps me grow in my character and faith in the Lord Jesus for, to provide for me. Uh, so we're just going to see what comes of it. But guys, <clears throat> keep me in your prayers. Um, you know, can't say that I'm too happy about this thing, but, you know, it's just part of part of the deal. So um, keep praying and rooting me on, encouraging me when you can. Uh, but just know that I care about you and that I'm not only doing this for for me, but I'm doing this for future generations and trying to help model uh, mature behavior so that hopefully guys that have struggled at the level that I have will, will see that there is hope that even though it gets uncomfortable and, and gets upsetting at times, we just don't give up and we do the next right thing. So today that's what I'm going to do. The next right thing. Take care.